Hello, hello, beautiful, fiery, fire suns. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. I am Tiarka Love. I am here to bring you all some insight as to what is going on in your love connections, okay? Hey, y'all, welcome. For the ones that are new here, I am glad you are here. Welcome to my channel. And for the ones that are returning, welcome back, welcome back. And I am just just so happy that you all have chosen to join me again here okay um please know that these will be general messages as they will not resonate with all you beautiful individuals and uh your love connections okay please take what resonate if some if any resonate and leave what does not resonate for the ones that they messages that the messages will resonate with okay all right, I already pre-shuffled, y'all, so um, we ain't going to have to do much, but uh, okay. All right, so let's get the overall energy here of you all's connection, overall energy of the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, love connection here. What is the overall energy here of you all's connection? Love connection, overall energy, please. Okay, so you have power here, Leo energy. All right, so stepping into your power, gaining your power. All right, uh, realizing, you know, maybe not being so animalistic and becoming and stepping into a new softer side of you. Here, okay, that is the number eight. All right, and let's see here. Let's get another uh, message here for the overall energy. So you have conflict and defeat here. This is the number five. All right, so someone could be going through uh, some conflict. Maybe this, these things that uh, you or your person is going through is. Maybe causing someone to feel a bit defeated here. Okay, so you're needing to use your power, your strength here, your wisdom, okay, to keep pushing forward. But let's see here. What are the feelings here? What are the feelings between you and your person? Uh, the ones that are left unsaid, okay? Let's see. All right, you got masculine energy here. I feel like time is passing us by. I feel like we've wasted a whole lot of time in this silence, okay? And the feminine energy here. I didn't expect to have such strong feelings for you. I didn't know what to do with those feelings. I acted immaturely. I know this, this causes me much stress. I don't know what to do about it, okay? So, um... Mm. All right, so let's see here what's going on. We're going to look into um, you all situation, okay? Situation, <clears throat> see what are um, some things that is causing some hindrance here within the connection. And we're going to see what action here that will be taken, okay? All right, so for Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, what is the situation between... This Leo Aries Sagittarius and this person here. Okay, you have happiness hater. All right, so you have someone around that don't want to see you and this person happy. Okay, also you have into you good chemistry here between you and you two, good vibes, and uh, there's a lot of great positive uh, energy here between you two. But again, you do have someone around that. Um, do not want to see you all happy. All right. So, do you know who that person is? Okay. So, let's see here. What um, what is the hindrance between this Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and their person? Okay. You have wolf in sheep's clothing. So, someone is not being authentic. Uh, someone is not being real here within this connection. Okay. Okay. And so, what? Is the action that will be taken here between the two. Okay. Or from someone. You have a drama starter. Um, so there could be arguments here between you two. Maybe 
as one of you all could be feeling uh, a lot of fiery energy here maybe starting drama okay so the action that will be taken here um is a lot of drama okay all right so let's see let's keep digging see what's going on okay tell us more here about the situation you have a message here so you will be receiving will be receiving a message maybe you are wanting to reach out to give your person a message uh, or maybe with this happiness hater someone could be delivering some sort of message to you okay you could be receiving some type of information uh, okay soon all right so here are the in the hindrance section here you have coffin here so something needs to be laid to rest maybe someone is trying to put something to rest here all right um this is number 19 which becomes a number 10 here so that is like laying burdens down and starting to or needing to see the light at the end of the tunnel okay all right Okay, or just needing to lay something to rest so you can start to see the light. All right, and tell us more here about this action. You have private property, okay? All right, so someone is maybe in this lack mindset, maybe is going through some type of financial difficulties here. Uh, maybe, you know, someone is needing a place to stay, okay? Um, <clears throat> Maybe someone in this connection is neglecting to pay more attention to their self, okay? Give me yourself some much needed love and some attention, all right? You or your person, okay? Let's keep going. Fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Let's tell us more here about this situation, please. All right, you have Femme Fatal. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, sexual energy I'm feeling between you two. Okay, but uh, maybe... <laughs> maybe we need to cut down on some of the intimacy so you can clearly see what um, is going on here. Alright, okay. Maybe that is clouding some judgment here. Okay. Alright, so... The obstacles here or the hindrance here. You have past life here. Alright, so you could be dealing with somebody from your past life. Maybe things from the past keep coming up here between you two that is causing some type of stagnation. Okay, maybe someone is not um, at this moment able to release people from past or the things from the past that is causing um, a hindrance okay now the action here you have introvert so someone is not expressing how they truly feel someone is wanting some solitude or uh, is being secretive okay <clears throat> Um, I'm sensing maybe some type of sneaky behavior as well. Not that introvert means that. It's just that I'm looking at the eyes here. And he seemed very secretive. Seemed like he know a lot. Okay. But is not willing to express. Alright. So. Hmm. Okay. So let's keep going leo aries sagittarius okay situation here tell us more about the situation now between the two here tell us more here about the situation between leo aries sagittarius and their uh, love interests all right you have brought in your horizons so exploring what this is is exploring new landscapes and meeting different people can bring fresh opportunities open yourself up to new experiences so i am getting here <clears throat> with this in the situation someone could be a bit too open um 
to meeting new people, okay? Maybe someone in this connection is having a hard time settling down at this moment here, okay? Maybe you're needing to broaden your horizons right now so you could open yourself up and experience um, new things, maybe... Maybe you all are needing to step outside of the bedroom and go out and explore and see what's out there in, you know, um, outside of, yeah, the intimacy, okay? All right. All right. So here, um, the hindrances within this connection. Tell us more here about the obstacles here. Okay. You have slow and steady here. So someone is rushing things, all right? Don't make any quick decisions or act in haste. Take your time to think things through and take one step at a time. You need to be patient and know that slow and steady wins the race, okay? So just be patient. Don't rush things. Someone is needing more time here, okay? And for the action that will be taken, you have a new perspective. So uh, there is a situation that you need to look at with fresh eyes. Seeing it from a different perspective will re will excuse me reveal more options. Keep an open mind, okay? So start to see things from a different perspective. Um, the action that will be taken is someone is going to start to see things here from a different perspective, okay? All right, so let's got some tarot here and see. Okay, so there's that Ten of Swords here on a situation. There are some painful endings. Um, maybe someone is, this situation here is causing a lot of mental anguish here. Ten of Swords, okay, this is uh, Gemini energy, could be dealing with a Gemini for some of you all, alright, um, but someone is going through some type of breakdown and could be mentally, alright, and we know when things start to weigh on the mental, then you do start to feel it physically here, so, but, you know, with this being the number 10 here, number 1 cycle starts over so these are endings therefore will bring forth new beginnings okay all right so here for the obstacles you have the fool here you could be dealing for some dealing with an aquarius all right but um you need to be open uh, for to changes open to embark on changes open up for a new journey here okay just kind of be all right first off the fool could mean with this in the hindrance section you want to make sure you're not being foolish okay um but someone could just be acting you know all willy-nilly and not really paying attention to what's really going on and then, therefore, the other meaning to this here is to, you need to just step out on faith and enjoy, um, allow changes to come in within yourself. Maybe make some changes in order for things to start to change. Oh my God, OMG. All right. Okay. Flies get on oh, nerves. All right. So, um, action here. Okay, so the action that we'll be taking got the Seven of Cups. That is Scorpio energy here. For some, we'll be dealing with a Scorpio. Also, you got the um, Six of Swords, which again is Aquarius energy here. Um, so, there's a lot of, there's some choices that you all are needing to make here someone could still be in some type of illusion maybe have a lot of different options to choose from here um too many opportunities here uh, when it comes to people and individuals and um and you also got overcoming difficulties here with the six of swords moving on and transitioning so stepping out of the old and moving into something new uh, would be very refreshing here all right 
So let's get the confessions here. All right. What do your person want to say to you in regards to the situation? I'm sorry. I wish that I could take back all the hurtful things I said to you. All right. So that is uh, the confession here for the situation between you two. All right. So in regards to the obstacles here. Um, I got a whiff of your scent. It made me smile remembering you. All right. So maybe it is hard for your person to come or someone to completely walk away here. Um, let's get one more confession for the obstacles, please. All right. This lifetime didn't work out. Hopefully I can do better next lifetime. Okay. So someone is kind of giving up here. But it's kind of hard here, maybe, because there are little things here that remind, you know, the other of the other. Okay. All right. And confession for the action. <laughs> this, I don't want to. Okay. Confession for the action, please. All right. Manifesting myself so I can be good enough to win back. All right. So someone could be coming back around uh, trying for some. They're trying or they will be trying to win you back here. All right. So for the situation here, you have ha happy family. All right. So you could have, um, you know, you could have had a happy family here with this person. Maybe this is what you're working towards. Building a happy family and a happy future here with this person. Okay. And for the obstacles here or the hindrance, you have take my hand. So um, it could be a bit difficult here for someone to quite settle down. All right. Um, okay. For the action, you have release and let go. And also love is coming. Okay. So there are some things that someone here in this connection is or some people uh, that they're needing to release and let go and know that love is coming if you are not um, if you're that energy here that is feeling the conflict and defeat here know that love is coming okay all right all right and now let's see okay here so for a situation you have mercury messages travel and communication um, the two signs that is ruled by Mercury is Gemini and Virgo. So for some, you could be dealing with a Gemini, dealing with a Virgo. But uh, there are some messages. You're going to be, again, with that message here. You're going to be receiving some type of messages with um, this here. These messages, you know, with the water. It could be in regards to this connection maybe coming from your person. All right, or you're going to want to give some type of messages here. All right, okay. Maybe there will be some quick travel here between you two. All right, and let's see who is okay. So, in regards to the obstacles or the hindrance, you have masculine. So, the masculine energy here could be the one uh, that is having a difficult time. Um, yeah, within its connection okay <laughs> and for the action here you have confusion neptune illusions here so we could be dealing with the pisces all right but um that's that seven of cups energy there as well with the illusions okay so uh, not being able to see things clearly all right and let's get a message of love here Get a, let's get a message of love, please, for the situation for these beautiful individuals. Know that someone is secretly yearning for you. All right? So know that, okay? In regards to the obstacles or the hindrance here, the message of love, this relationship can stand the test of time. All right? So know that stability here. Um, you all have been through a lot, all right? There is no denying that with that past life. And, um, you know, 
and the energy that I'm feeling here from here. You all have been through a lot. So, hmm, it just could be difficult here for the masculine energy within this in this connection uh, right now at this time, okay? All right, now for the action messages, love. Okay, so you have awakening. Both people in this connection are undergoing a spiritual transformation, all right? So just know that, and when you're going through a spiritual transformation, things um, can get a bit difficult, um, especially when you start to work on yourself, right, and focus on healing yourself and working on yourself, then it can be you know, a bit difficult, but you will just want to keep pushing forward and know that um, there the sun and the sun always shine, y'all. It don't rain forever, okay? It can't rain forever, all right? All right. Not if you're putting out pure greatness, putting out with outside, with you know, if it's within you and you are exuberant that outwardly then um yeah and it won't rain forever okay now let's get a healing message here for the viewer please okay so you have family dynamic reconcile your family is requiring a time to heal issues that have created a wedge or unrest we all need support as we move forward and have an a open loving family unit is essential all right um so yes um let's focus on healing family issues all right okay so fire signs leo aries sagittarius cross watchers these are your messages i hope that they will be helpful um thank you all for joining me i salute the divinity in you all i am sending you all much love much light much positivity um, if these messages resonated, please give me a thumbs up. If you would like to receive um, these videos more frequently, then hit the subscribe button uh, for me, please. And um, yeah, and I love y'all so much. And I will see you all next time. All right, bye.